My name is Kevin Hewitt. I'm the Executive Director and President of Christian Children's Home of Ohio and our family of ministries uh, encompass Christian counseling and encourage foster care and adoption. Uh, we have been an agency ministry for 48 years located here in Worcester, Ohio, as well as throughout the surrounding counties with a, our uh, outpatient counseling and our foster care and adoption. And when we uh, first started looking into building uh, a new gym and a uh, classrooms and a cafeteria. We kind of went with um, an architect that uh, really didn't understand um, really our, our vision, our mission. Um, their first rendition was uh, several, um, nearly five million dollars that uh, on our campus uh, just really would have stuck out like a thor sore thumb. Uh, we had a really tough time, I think, in interacting with them. Uh, it took a long time to get uh, some of the drawings done. I don't necessarily know. I mean, they were a busy, well, um, good reputation. They, you know, they were just a busy architectural firm that I wouldn't say we were necessarily on the top of their list as to get back with. And it took uh, several weeks, not, if not months, to get some answers to uh, questions or to even get the preliminary drawings done. And it was just like, I don't necessarily know if we ever really connected. It was probably the best way to look at it. Actually, I was introduced to uh, Building God's Way through uh, Ron Wenger from Weaver Commercial Contractors. And uh, as we were still trying to figure out how to uh, get the our vision actually um, built, um, Ron uh, came to me and said, hey, they had just developed a relationship uh, with this uh, Christian architectural firm out of Utah called Building God's Way, and that they did um, what he considered a pretty unique approach and uh, called a charrette. Um, and the charrette was actually a three-day intensive design period, and that through, at the end of those three days, we would have 95% of our preliminary drawings done and be ready to present things to our board, to our employees, uh, to our donors as we looked at, again, raising the capital needed uh, to build a building. And I have to be very upfront, I was kind of skeptical of the fact that they could do it in three days, uh, particularly in light of our previous experience with um, the other architects. Um, and so they came out on a Wednesday, and it was not even Wednesday in the morning, it was Wednesday at two o'clock, which made me even a little more nervous of the fact that it really wasn't even a full three days. Uh, but they came out Wednesday at three o'clock, came up to our campus here in Worcester. We have 175 acres um, that we host our Christian Children's Home Ohio component, which is our residential center. Um, we have uh, five cottages. They took an hour tour of our barns and, and everything else, talked to um, our staff. Uh, we met at three o'clock in our worship and treat center with other residential staff and administrative staff. Um, Austin and uh, Brad uh, were two of the architects that came, just really neat guys. I can tell you I was very, very impressed when they opened they asked for anybody who would be willing to open the uh, meeting in prayer. Uh, once we did that, they just really wanted to ask questions and understand where we were coming from. We had sent them some preliminary stuff so they were at least aware of Christian Children's of Ohio and our family and ministries. But they really, in a short amount of time, uh, was able to talk to the head of our commissary and get some understanding of what he wanted in the kitchen, get talk to our school liaison, Louie, and be able to get an understanding of what he needed in the gym, uh, talk to our residential director, our res uh, Peggy Smith, and get an understanding of what she needed from her perspective, uh, from our college supervisors. It was just a really, really neat uh, discussion. Um, and they were taking furious notes, and, and Austin was uh, even asking some questions, kind of probing a little bit where we were at. Um, they literally left campus at about 4 o'clock that day, uh, and we were to meet again at 2 o'clock the next day. And, and again, I'm still a little skeptical of, uh, because of the process we've had before. Uh, at 2 o'clock, uh, Austin and Brad came down, set up the computer, and had preliminary designs done. Uh, they had where the location of the gym would be built. Uh, they had to, the renovation, the floor plan for the renovation of the Worship Retreat Center. 
which includes uh, a commercial kitchen and moving all of our school classrooms up into that building uh, included that. They really had all of that done within that 24 hour period. And so on that Thursday then, we really spent some time fine tuning the preliminary drawings. And, um, and also, uh, I should mention as well, is that we were, um, commercial contractors were also with us during that period. So uh, Ron Wenger, the president of, of Weaver, has been instrumental. Uh, he's a member of our board. Uh, he kind of knows what we would like and what fits into our ministry. Uh, so him and, and Dave and John, Dave Hershey and John Fiala also spent time with us. We're there at all three of those meetings. Uh, very helpful because they can come in from the building of understanding where CCHO has been over the last uh, several years. Um, so that meeting on Thursday, we had again the same amount of our staff. We're able to tweak some things with the bathrooms, uh, tweak some other things. They had some questions from uh, like a building perspective. Wanted to know if we felt that that was a good location where they had placed the gym. Um, they were very um, cognizant of the fact they wanted to make it look like it fit into the campus. And that was, I think, a huge part for us as well because our, our first couple renditions really would have stuck out like a thor sore thumb because they were just so uh, much more extravagant than our, than our campus really is at this point. Um, so, but they went back and on Friday afternoon we kind of had a wrap-up meeting. Uh, so it was, it was literally 48 hours. It was three days, but it was 48 hours uh, when they left. Um, we met and they had preliminary designs done. They had exterior views done. They, um, they had the, the layout, the plans. Um, it was amazing is the best way I can put it. Uh, and then uh, just to see it on our campus and see, like I said earlier, how it fits in, uh, it has been a tremendously easy uh, thing to build momentum because of how nice of a job that they have done and how it just fits together. And, um, and so we really appreciate Building God's Way and, and particularly Austin and Brad that, that came out and worked with us. I think that the relationship with building God's way is just, when those three days we clicked, I mean, I think Austin understood, Austin and Brad understood our heart, and for them to have um, uh, an understanding of where we wanted to go, and and so we were able to, um, with the help of, of Weaver Commercial Contractors, in just 48 hours on campus, build a tremendous amount of momentum just on campus among our staff. They were excited. Jeremy is our commissary guy, and he was pumped up to see the commercial kitchen and what he could do uh, with that. Our Louie, who I mentioned earlier with the gym, uh, when he saw the renderings of the gym, and uh, again, just excited about what uh, allows our kids just to have a place to play. We're excited to get started. We're excited uh, for um, building God's way, and their desire is really to be an architectural firm that glorifies God and all that they say and do. And, and I know that that's Weaver Commercial Contractors. So for us, it's a no-brainer to go with them. And, and we really appreciate them. Um, we look forward to the rest of this process.